Okay, so let's look now. We're going to do um, one more band combination uh, image, and but before we do that, let's dive in and look quickly at at um, what happens when we pull these images out of the HDF file. What you can see is band two is um, read out of the HDF file, and when we look at its size, it's a 4200 by 4980 image, so it's pretty pretty large, but that's basically the aster sensor. Now if we look at this, the, uh, if we just say, well, what's the value in like the, the first pixel? It's the value zero. If we dive into the middle, we see that at a thousand thousand position, the answer is 37. So you can see that the the values inside this matrix are, are relative um, and they're integers. And so that's, it turns out that'll give us a little bit of a problem when we go to display things. So if we go to our, our matrix here, what we're going to be computing is the normalized difference vegetation index. And it uses band 3 minus band 2 divided by band 3 plus band 2. So it, basically it's kind of a relative difference between what's sensed in, in band 2 relative to band 3. And, and that uh, difference is, is a measure of the relative kind of health and strength of the green vegetation. So we, we do the same as before, pull the three bands out, uh, although we actually only need uh, two and three. Um, and, and then this next part here sh is uh, following up on the point I made at the beginning of this video, which is that the 8-bit uh, the integers are what are in those those original HDF files, so we need to convert them uh, from integer to basically a, a real number, and then we can do the math. And so here's the here's the action uh, here for computing the NDVI. So you see band, we just do matrix uh, matrix arithmetic, subtract band everything in band two or band three from band two, and then divide by the sum of the two bands, and display them. And so you can see here at the uh, once we've got the matrix put together, then uh, we just uh, we see that the range actually runs from zero to one. And when we go ahead and uh, run it, we come up with this uh, this nice result, which shows that the that you see pretty well the nice riparian vegetation along the river is pretty bright, so that's strong veg. And then a little bit of vegetation strength here, where we're in the higher elevations, uh, especially down here in the southwest in the San Francisco peaks.